You're watching Chewing the Cut with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said, if you can't get me a matching pedestal mat, I'm really not that interested. Well, hello there, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. You right there, Lee? You're just in my blouse. Your blouse? My... Pedestal mat, I said. I was talking about a new pedestal mat. You, you were referring to it as a pedestal mat, aren't you? No, I actually quite like your new blouse. Where did you get it from? Okay. Um, from, a, from a very high-class department store. In the ladies' section in the sale. <laughs> <laughs> it may have been, yes. Yeah, yeah. The large ladies' section. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> Any time. I'm, I'm more than happy to out you. Um, so what's in, in store for showbiz today? Oh, right? I don't know. Something about Andrew Lloyd Webber, something about him that's James Bond, that kind of stuff. <laughs> on the screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have commented, liked or shared something that we have basically stolen from somewhere else scrolls along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. Philly, we, we, we have a, a, a little setup in the studio, don't we? And we have things that come up on the screen while we're talking. We do, yeah. That sometimes doesn't go very well, does it? No, sometimes they don't happen. They don't happen or they happen at the wrong time. Mm. Right? But it could be worse. Could it? It could be a lot worse. Okay. As one um, station in America have found out, as police are having to investigate them. Investigate them? Investigate them. them. Yes. Yeah, so weirdly, did you say investigate? I don't know. Yeah, the police having to investigate it um, for a not safe for work pick Ooh. that popped up during the um, the weather. Mm. Was it? Was it? So, um, the weather weather's on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. That's not that's not what's rude. That's not right? what's rude. If you look just over her right shoulder, they've pixelated an image. They've pixelated an image. Little pixelated oh, right, an image. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because basically, as she was going through the the weather and saying how hot and moist it was going to be. People are at it in the background. Oh, where, yes. were, they, where were they from? What, the, the people in the yeah. porn? Or the, yeah. the news station? No, well, no, I don't care about the news station. The, the people <laughs> that were in the porn. I, I don't know. We don't have the detail of where the oh. porn was from. But the fact that porn was, was sort of like the, the problem there. Okay. okay. So here we have some, some pixelated pictures too. There's a lot of colour there, isn't there? There's a lot of colour there, yeah. That could be porn. For all we know. For all we know. It's not. It's actually us in this very studio. Is it? Yes, but it could be porn. Okay. Some people enjoy our show a lot. The, yeah. We've had, we've had messages. Yeah. You know, myself included. Yeah. There's no questions, I'll tell you no lies, Mike. It, I've got questions, though. <laughs> you... you to, to, oh, that's not right. That's... No, you're, you're wrong that's in the the biggest form of compliment, that, you know. No, it's not. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't know whether you're doing it to me or doing it to you, and I just happen to be there. Don't break the fantasy. Let's move on. <laughs> Can I get an adult? <laughs> um, so, yes, so a boss informed um, viewers that there would be um, bonus days of nice weather. So, the, and there was, a, there was a couple bonking behind her on the, on the visual mm -hmm. camera. Yes. A visual camera. A visual camera. <laughs> yes, on the Moving screen oh, behind her. Did you realise? Um, she didn't. Her co host did. Oh, yeah, okay. and producers act swiftly and zoomed into the temperature maps. Oh, was it? Because um, I'm interested, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> Where was can it, you find a copy of it? Was, yeah. it? was it a straight couple? Was it a gay couple? What, 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 what was the combination? You know, oh, just that, out of I, I, see, I don't think I've got that information oh. of, the, of the type of pornographic. Oh. Um, was it an animal? It was a short video segment, generally described as a small portion of the screen, showing a separate image of the newscast of what appeared to be Possibly pornographic or explicit imagery. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So they're not even saying it was porn. You know. They just it could be. Could be porn. But, um... Bit of that. Bit of what? Could be that. Could be that. What else could it be? Um... Like that. Okay. Um... Just could be a bit of that. Could be a bit of that. Could be double. There's so many... Yeah, there's... So many, so many things you can So many in. positions in the world. You, you've not done one of them, though. One of them? Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. Okay. And that, that's my Tuesday night, sorted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's still on your own. Um, so, yeah, it was the Special Victims Unit have started investigating it. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, there's nothing quite like overkill. Did anybody complain? Did anybody ring in and say, I'm disgusted? Probably. Um, there's, 
You've not got the full details, have you, Mike? <laughs> well, not, it's not like in the UK where we've got like points of view. Oh, okay. Do we have points of view anymore? No, but the is it Ofsted? No, Ofsted. Ofsted. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They hate it when there's pornography going on in school. Um, <laughs> it's frowned upon quite a lot. <laughs> Ofcom. Ofcom. That's when people ring up and go, no, I'm not happy with that. Yes. That nipple that you saw through mm -hmm. my blouse. Well, not my blouse, but through the blouse on <laughs> Well, we have had that complaint before, haven't <laughs> yeah. we? Yeah. Um, thousands of complaints, actually. Um, but from a news station accidentally slipping a peen, right, to a story about um, men from Manchester okay. who are currently holding dogging parties in a bush behind a roadside establishment. Just the one bush? Just the one bush. No, bushes. <laughs> bushes? Yes. Oh. Um, and the roadside cafe is called Big Baps. Okay. Yes. Um, so this is a the story. <laughs> Why did you laugh? Well, it's classy though, doesn't it? That? It's a roadside one. It's nice. Yeah, it's purple. Yeah. Um, Sharon Werrett, who's the co-owner of Big Baps at Junction 25 in Browse, um, she sees two or three doggers every morning as she's on her way to work um, and as she's serving lorry drivers their breakfast. So, oh. Would you like a sausage, sir? <laughs> Behind the bushes. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it, it... You can only help the business, can't it? Well, I don't, yeah, after you've had a fumble, if you you're a bit a, hungry. Have a fumble in... Because what is dogging? Is dogging watching? It's participating. Oh, OK. I thought dogging was you just you like watch. You can watch as well, but you, you have to have people participating Doing something. to watch. Otherwise, you're just stood in the field going... <laughs> Oh, um, okay. Mm. I don't really <laughs> know what else. To digest that, me there, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot yeah. of stuff going on there that I wasn't picking. Because uh, do they do it in the day and night? It's mostly at night. It's mostly at night. So and it's early morning sort oh, of things. Okay. So as lorry drivers are, are, are pulling off to get a sandwich. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but um, does she have yeah. a special? Does she have a special? Special board, <laughs> special board. <laughs> for the doggers. Dogging in a cup of tea, one pound fifty. And a wet wipe. <laughs> <laughs> a moist towelette. A moist, a moist towelette. <laughs> yeah. Um, she claims that the men come from Manchester and sometimes so many people turn up that there's no room for the lorry drivers to park Really? Up. It's like a crowd of men all, all huddled behind the one threadbare <laughs> bush with no leaves on it, pretending that, pretending that nobody can see them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, she said that most people think it's funny, but really it's quite seedy. Mm, Don't yeah. it's not an all family fun action, though, is it's it? It's not really. Is it, is it like? Is it illegal activity after all? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it an, a gentleman only area? Is it? Is it just for the gentlemen's, or is it for the ladies as well? It is just men. She said if it was a male and female dogging site, she'd feel exactly the same. It's not because they're gays. It's because they're dogging. They're, they're, right. Okay. Right. That just doesn't come into it. The fact is, a dogging site. There's a hotel twenty yards twenty yards up the road, where they would appreciate the business. Well, that kind of defeats the object of dogging, though, yeah, isn't it? People want to outside. I mean, personally, not really into it. I'd go to Marks and Spencers, but what of a shag? I, well, you know, because it's that Marks and Spencers, isn't there? That, that, In Northern that Ireland, a, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll go all the way there. Um, <laughs> That's like, I'm not going to go to that hotel. <laughs> I'm going to go. Over. I'll go to Marks and Spencers. Yeah, nice sandwich. While I'm pulling my patch. Um. <laughs> well, the, 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 the trick is to get someone else to do it for you. Okay. Because that's just you having a, a wanker. There. I have. I, I'm very innocent. I don't understand a lot of. I mean, it's, you know, it's cold. You told me what truffly was. You're not innocent. <laughs> I just. Uh, there's a lot of effort there. Just. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just stay at home. You just can get porn for free on the internet. But that's. Porn doesn't touch you. How do you know? I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason why I'm on a second laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's sites you can go on. Yes, yeah, dogging sites. Dogging sites? Yeah. yeah. But Comfort from your home. People need to go dogging in order to record the dogging porn. <clears throat> Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to move on from there and say, if you've got something you want to share with us, just search for At The Cud TV on all your usual social media channels. And that brings us to the story of the week. Okay, so this is a very short story because it's something I found on the internet that just made me go, hmm, <laughs> clever. It was a little titter. Little titter. Got my titters out for it, in fact. Um, have you heard the phrase, single as a Pringle? Yeah, single as a Pringle and ready to mingle. <laughs> yeah. Well, the problem I've always had with that phrase, mm -hmm. right, apart from the way you've just delivered it, <laughs> um, <laughs> is the fact that Pringles are in a big tube. They are. And they're continually spooning, so they're quite a slutty crisp. 
You've thought about this a lot. I have, you? yeah. But Pringles have come out with a revolutionary way of just getting rid of that myth that they're a slutty crisp by bringing out a single serving Pringle tube. Well, that's not new. No, it's, it's, it's a single Pringle in a tube. Just one Pringle? One Pringle. Just one Pringle. Well, that's not very that's not very environmentally friendly, is it? All that it's, packaging. It's not environmentally Pringle. friendly at all. But it is a single Pringle in a tub, so you can have one single Pringle. So you can be as single as a Pringle now. Yeah, I have, I have nothing. I have nothing constructive or positive to say about that story at all. In fact, there's anger. <laughs> there's anger. Why is there's there anger? anger inside me? Because I just think in the world with you know no no I can't I just can't. <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> well, no, that, that breakdown. That's the end from the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. The rage is inside me, and it's like flames on the side of my face. That's not the first time he's had something inside him and then on the side of his face. But next we have Lee in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. And now we brace ourselves for what we can only describe as amazing showbiz with Lee. <laughs> Do you like a cartoon, Mike? No. No. So do you like a cartoon <laughs> live-action hybrid? I do like a car, uh, a hybrid, yes. I think you were going to say carport, then. <laughs> I do like a carport, yes. I was about to say something very rude. <laughs> um, um, well, you, were you a fan of Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Were you alive when it came out, Mike? I wasn't alive when it came out. Well, I think I was just alive when it came out. But just very alive. small. Very small. Not far away. Very small. Well, apparently, mm. Disney have mm. given Jessica Rabbit a makeover and fans are furious. Furious, Mike. Oh. So um, they've kind of going through this phase of kind of reimagining characters. So basically redoing everything that they've redoing, done before. Yeah, so they'd have to yeah. get new ideas. So yeah. they're kind of so perhaps characters from sort of like the eighties and nineties, particularly the female characters, when nowadays aren't particularly very good portrayals of how no. women are. They're, they're so, not positive role models. No. So so one of the recent ones they've done is that um, the 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 bunny out of Space Jam, Lola. Uh -huh. um, when they re-released Lola Space Jam, well, the Space Jam, not Lola Space Jam, it was just called Space Jam. Okay. <laughs> they kind of gave her, they kind of toned down the kind of sort of sexuality of the rabbit. And, okay. you know, because, you know, rabbit, not all rabbits are sexy, Mike. They're not all sexy. But, but uh, a lot of them are rampant. Lot, <laughs> rampant, they are. So, what they've done is, because they've decided that Jessica Rabbit mm. is is too, too sexualized and they need to give her a more relevant... Makeover. So they're not making a new film. This is all about the ride in Disneyland, the the Who Framed Roger Rabbit ride. Why are you doing that face? Like that? <laughs> Sorry, say so not sexualizing these cartoon characters, but she's a ride, like a dark ride. That's what they're called. That's what they're called. That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a loop. It's stuck. <laughs> they're, they're like they're called dark rides because it's in darkness and 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 there's like robots and stuff. It's it's a dark ride. It's a dark ride. Okay, so who's this we've got on the screen? So that is that is the rabbit. That is that is um, Lola Bunny. So the first right. picture is her with kind of like slipping a thing off her shoulder. It's uh -huh. the original, and then the second bit is when they've kind of like desexualized herself. So right, okay. what they've decided to do is make Jessica Rabbit more relevant. Okay. Okay. So on this ride, there there it's kind of all kind of like the story of of. Roger Rabbit, whatever he does, blah, 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 blah. And she is usually... Mm. See, when you think of, of of Jessica Rabbit, you think of her as that but quite sexy and the sparkly... Voluptuous yes, young lady. Yes, the hair over one eye. Mm -hmm. Well, what they're saying... A slit up to her, you know what's it? So, Walt Disney, mm -hmm. and, and uh, well, not him, because he's dead. He's been dead for a long time. Quite generally uh, frozen. Disney in general. Just defrosted him a little <laughs> bit, Say, well, what's your idea on this? Yeah. So this is a, this is the ride. It's called um, Rabbit uh, Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin. And there's a picture here that we've got on the screen. It's mm -hmm. kind of like animatronic type things. In one of the scenes, she's kind of like being trapped in a in a boot of a car. Okay. Kind of all kind of sexy looking. So what they've decided to do is they've. <laughs> I, I mean, it's quite. You know, um, <laughs> it's it's one of a my bit niche, ones, but okay. Um, so they've kind of decided to take away all that kind of like. Sexualization. And, yeah. and, and, and put her in a, a fedora and a, and a trench coat. 
So we've got a picture of her, of her, of her maid. So we've got a picture of her before, uh -huh. and then we've got a picture of her after. To be fair, she's just got a... They've not like reduced the size of her bosoms. <laughs> what they've just... done there is they've gone, right, you know what? She looks too flaunty sexy there. Let's make her look a bit like a flasher. Yeah, why not? Because <laughs> you never know what's underneath there. So they've decided so so fans are disappointed right. and, and, and then other fans are accusing fans of being offended by being offended. Um, it's not even real. It's a cartoon. It's not real. It's a cartoon. Um somebody... She's not going to touch you where <laughs> she wees. Imagine being offended by Jessica Rabbit. Okay. One of them said on Twitter. And then another one said, as a woman, I'm offended people are offended by Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. So the notion is unclear as to whether being offended has come from Disney themselves or people saying we're offended by Jessica Rabbit wearing that dress. So are they offended because she's no longer slutty? Yes. And because she was, is slutty? Yes. So basically, no matter what she does, she's... If she was dressed as a nun... They would not be happy. It so, seems. so really, that is a perfect representation of, of women today. They can't. They're damned if they do, do damned if they don't. Wrong. I mean, when you think of Jessica Rabbit, you don't. You think of Je the drawing of Jessica Rabbit, of, of how she, the red dress and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's not as disturbing as what used to happen. So you know, at Disney, they have like character people dressed in the costumes. Mm -hmm. Well, for quite a long time, they had these people wandering around um, outside the ride. Now. Um, this is properly disturbing. So if you think you could be offended by Jessica Rabbit's um, cartoon image, look at that. Do you know what she looks like? Oh. One of those maskers. Those... <laughs> those... Um, <laughs> that, you know, that dress up as dolls and stuff. Oh, oh the phone is ringing, Michael. Hello. Sorry. Hello, chewing the cud. Oh, hello. How are you? I don't think it is for sale, Yuri. But, okay. All right, take care. Love you, bye. Remember Yuri Tekalov? The, the man that married the... Oh, the, yes. Interested in buying it. Oh, okay. Mm, that's interesting, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Turning into a chicken woman. That's what yeah, he does. Just, yeah. So, let's move on to some news about Daniel Craig, a.k.a. Okay. James Bond. Well. Okay. So, the new James Bond film has been out since September. Mm -hmm. After like fourteen years delay, I'm not a James Bond film I'm not fan, a fan, so I've not been no, to see it. No. So you know, but what he is saying mm -hmm. in all the sort of interviews that he's doing is that he's revealed that he visits gay bars mm -hmm. um, because he was sick of getting, um, and this is his words, aggressive dick swinging in hetero bars. So yep. what he says, so he's fifty three now. Mm -hmm. What he's saying that ever since he can remember, and he was on a podcast in America, he, he's saying that um, he. Goes to gay bars. Yeah. We've got a picture of him here, not in a gay bar. Um, no. <laughs> on the record, I like that that jacket. I thought you might I like do. that. I like do. It. It's yeah, like yeah. a raspberry crushed velvet. Yeah, I'm velour. Velour. I'm the law. I'm there for that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what he's saying is that one of the reasons that he goes to gay bars is because he doesn't get into fights, mm -hmm. um, and the aggressive dick swinging in hetero bars isn't there. It's not. Just dick swinging in just general. Just dick swinging. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, from my personal experience. Yeah. So, it's, and he said, so... so aggressive, though. He finds them very chill. They're mm. a safe place to be. Yeah. Uh, where people's sexuality doesn't really matter. Um, but he also has revealed that he also, pre-marriage, because mm -hmm. he's married to an actress, um, um, he had an ulterior motive because he said, it's where I could meet girls there because there were a lot of girls there for exactly the same reason that I was there. Uh-huh. Looking for... Um, <laughs> so we've got, we, <laughs> to be fair, if he walked into a bar looking like this, that's an old picture. Do you think? Where I did don't you drag that no, one? That's up? Not, look at his face. He's got he's got that's... like potato face, buff body, <laughs> butter face. face. No butter face, not potato face. He doesn't look like what a potato. The potato face. He looks from? like a potato. He doesn't look like a potato. He looks like a scrubbed potato. <laughs> a scrubbed potato face. Potato face. Um, so, yeah, so that... <laughs> You're telling me that Daniel Craig comes over to you and go, oh, we've got a lovely body, but not your face. I'd go, oh, potato face. Would um... you? <laughs> I don't think you would. No. I think you'd go, all I right, go, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so, would, but I don't think the reverse happens. I don't go into straight bars. Full stop. Full stop. <laughs> That's the end. Because the end. Um, I just... No, I don't. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I don't go to any bars. I don't go leave my house. 
but I was just trying to make a point that was funny. But it's yeah. okay. Yeah, just uh, ignore Paul. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> we're to ignore Paul. He doesn't we, as, as a group of gay men, you wouldn't go, oh, should we go into a Weatherspoons? You see, I've been into a couple of Weatherspoons. Have you? Yeah. Did you feel ill? No, I didn't. No? No, I didn't stay in long, but I've been into a couple. Did you feel the need to mask it up in Weatherspoons? Did you feel no. Go, Whoa. no, I'm comfortable with who I am. Oh, okay. Oh, a pint, please, love. That kind of stuff. All right, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a pint, please, darling. Nice jugs, love. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all, all we adjust blokes. myself as I'm so talking. All, that's how all straight blokes talk. Anyway, where, where, where am I going? I'm going to Weatherspoons. I need a tracksuit quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's well, go to J Jason Donovan Sports. Jason Donovan Sports? What, what's what JD stands for? Is it Jason Donovan? Is it Jason Donovan? You're telling me it's not Jason Donovan Sports. I don't shop? think it is. <gasps> Revelation. Oh, my God. Okay. So, you know, if you see... Craig David, no. <laughs> Not Craig David. I mean, he probably is in a game, but to be fair, we, can't, we, no, we haven't got no proof about that. Um, <laughs> your, fantasies, <laughs> your fantasies are libeling yourself now. Is, we haven't actually got any proof. If you see Don <laughs> One Craig... second. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, okay, send it to Lee directly. Yes, it's not my fault, thank you. Craig David's lawyers, it's fine. Oh, Craig um, David all over your boink. <laughs> well, um, there's another. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a lyric. Just add it to the list. <laughs> so, if you see Daniel Craig in a gay bar, yes. just say hello. Say, you're James Bond, aren't you? Yeah, just because he'll love that. <laughs> uh, can I borrow your, your raspberry crushed velvet? <laughs> that would be you. Yeah. It's like, yeah. where's your jacket? Where'd you get that from? TK Maxx. <laughs> and that, that is the end of this week's showbiz news. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Lee. Stick around as coming up we have Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this week we're playing straight acting. And that's a cue for our straightest acting one of us to act so I can guess what he's doing. That's you. Or I might. Yeah. But before we do that. Our director has been on another saga holiday and has left something juicy in our little boxes. So would you like to see what's in your box? I don't feel any. Oh, oh you mean that? I'm uh, in the cupboard. <laughs> is, it, is it that hideous picture or is it that thing? It'll be the thing. It won't be the picture of you. You'll be keeping that box at all times. So what have they got you? They've got a chode in a... In a in a glitter ball. Ah. Oh. Chody ball. <laughs> Chody ball. Chody ball from Rhodes. That's nice. That's very, very um, <laughs> culturally appropriate for that yeah. area region. A lot, yeah. lot, of, lot of small cocks. Shall we see what he's put in my box? Have you got one in yours? I've got something in mine as well. It's not just you that gets gifts. Oh. Erotica. Erotica. Yeah. 16 erotic scenes from ancient Greece. Ooh. Oh, well. Let's have a look. Is there anything we let's can show? A, let's have a look. Let's let go in. Oh, well. That's that's an interesting month. Oh, December looks fun. It does indeed. Oh. Am I allowed to show that? Because it's people having intercourse. Oh, oh well. I'm going to have a quick flick to February because it's my birthday. Oh, I might think I'll have a lovely birthday. That's the, I think that's the forward-facing dog. I think that's just someone taking it up the... Um, Proverbial. Right, so um, since we've got our gift, do you want to plug off to the special area? Yeah. I'm going to pick my things up. Okay, off you pop. Game of the week. Oh, well, that's a good May. That's going to be interesting. Oh, so yes, all he has to do is act out what's on the cards in front of him. So you're going to guess what it is I'm doing, what, yeah. what kind of job I am doing. What, what, what you're doing on the card, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, ten minutes to shoot, babes, and what I'm seeing here is not something that we can work with. Is it porn? It's to do with porn. Oh. So, what I'm going to do is, if you don't mind, I'm just going to tickle it. Just a little bit. There you go. And then you're Ooh. going to tickle it a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, would you like me to do anything else? You're a fluffer. You're a fluffer. Yes. I'm a fluffer for the porn industry just before a shoot. Filming. Oh, mais oui. Uh, je ne comprends pas. Hmm? Qu'est-ce que c'est? You're a slightly racist interpretation of a French person. No. 
Je ne comprends pas. Parlez bleu lentement, s'il vous plaît. Frère Jacques. That's the only French I know. I've like used all my French. None of that was <laughs> French. <laughs> I've got like three words of French and the rest is just like stereotypical. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's just... no, no. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Do, Je ne comprends pas. Do you not know Lady Marmalade? No. No. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? No. C'est ça. No? C'est idiot. That's water, isn't it, Evian? Je me vec. That's some else. No. Um, um, I, I, I just think French personage. Um, I think that you're speaking in French. Why yeah. are you speaking in French making... Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's do another one. Yeah, let's. Um, ooh. Ooh. You're being fluffed before a porn shoot. No, no. I don't need a fluffer, baby. Um, um. Me eat. Me eat meat. Me fight dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, saber tooth tiger. Moo. Fire. Ooh, where did that come from? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Need, need to go to shops. Me fight dinosaur. <laughs> You're being a caveman. Yay! And a caveman and a dinosaur are millions of years apart. <laughs> not in the films, they're not. No, ju right, so Jurassic Park is set in these times and they bring dinosaurs back to life. <sighs> Whatever. But well, even then, dinosaurs that would never have seen each other because they happened at different times. Just move on. Oh, I just, I've just got no bounds left in me. Oh. It's you before a show. <laughs> no. Oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered hopping and this, this thing in my pouch. Oh, it's, oh God. Can't be arsed with that. Oh. Can't even be bothered. Try a rent boy. <laughs> no. Um, perhaps if I did, oh, no. I'm like really, really down, mate. I'm not having a good time. You've just done an Australian accent. I know. You've just done an, an, an accent I understood. I know. I've just been practicing. But he's like really sad, mate, you know? I'm just like, you know. Oh, no, he's gone now. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, you got too excited. Um, You're depressed, Australian. No, Mike. It's, yeah. No, but yeah. But is Australian bit, yes. Okay. But not, yeah, it's something that lives in Australia. You know, ugh. A confused Kylie Minogue, I don't know. Sometimes people eat me, um, but I don't like that. I mainly like to just jump around a lot, but I, I'm not in the mood. A depressed kangaroo. Yes. Okay. It is. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's me. Do, 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 do. Yes, yes. Hey, I like to go in with a pig. Yeah. <laughs> there was all sorts happening there. Yay. I was thinking Kermit the Frog, but then you changed yeah, what you, you were it. doing. Get it, you got it. I'm Kermit. Could you finish a phrase before you move on to the next one? I, I didn't. I finished it. You went, do, 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 do. I like to make it with a pig. It was. It I was, was just, giving you, just giving you a little insight into the whole of it. I don't want okay. an insight into Kermit the Frog's hole. Thank you very there much. There you go. We, we, you got it. So that's good. <laughs> Um, um, I'm the only one left, like, um, I come from Liverpool, um, one of them are... No. No. Not the accent. Not the accent. Um, 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 I, I wrote most of the songs, um, there was like five of us, I think there's like, um, I think there's just like two of us left, now one does that one, one does that thing about the, the chains. About the jeans? Trains. The drains. Trains, you know. Thomas the Tank Engine, not him. Oh. Uh, I mean, I, I um, that doesn't do Thomas the Tank Engine anymore. No. Um, I, used to, I used to be married to a woman that had just one leg. You know. Fabby, dabby, thumbs aloft. Are you being um, Ringo Starr? Am I being who? Ringo Starr. No. The other one. George Harrison. No, he's dead. Okay. Well, he's the other one that's still alive. Do, 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 
Do do do. Ba da da. Ba da. Do 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 do. Mr. Ono. Ah? Your cat Ono husband. No, he's dead. It's the, the only one. The, this is the, there's only one of them that's alive. Was there five? No, yeah, there was five. There was Ringo. Hugh, Drew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dublin, Rob. John. Yeah. Frank. Mm-hmm. And then another one. This one that's still alive. Linda McCartney. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's Paul McCartney. I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't, I couldn't carry on with that one. I was doing, um, oh, I'm not doing that one either. Um. <laughs> right, what was the one that you just got rid of? You think your co-presenter is speaking in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. In your own timely. I'm just I'm trying to formulate it in my head. Um, oh, hey there, Sandy. Oh, now I've given it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you have. I really can guess that straight away. I'm, I'm not. Um, um, <laughs> Grease Lightning. Hey, yeah. Um, um, um. <laughs> Ooh, Got good. a bum chin. Um, down in the sand, yeah. Ooh. Um. <laughs> this sounds a lot like your Cliff Richard impression, <laughs> which is a good sound. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I think I... I <laughs> this is your Cliff Richard I voice. Think... <laughs> I, I, can't, I don't know what... I can't... Think, no, because if I say that, then you'll know who it is. Um, I think I fingered you in the sand. It's your Cliff Richard impression. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, do you like my car? Is it Cliff Richard? No! Are you sure? No! I think I'm in Greece, and I'm Danny and you're Sandy. Oh. Well, that's enough of that. Thank you very much. Down the beach was very memorable, obviously. Um, anyway, this game's stupid. <laughs> so, yeah. So, another game that Lee can't do, and it's the game's fault. Well, after this break, it's time to get crafty with Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time we fill up the paper recycling bin as Lee pins us down and forces us to do more Crafty Queens. So do you, when you're when you're having a little bit of a bit of a relaxation time at home, you've got one of your special movies on the the, the televisual box, mm -hmm. and you think, do you know what? I fancy some snacks. What can I keep my smacks? My snacks? What can I keep? <laughs> what can I keep my snacks in? If there was only something that was invented that I could keep my snacks in, it's, it's called a bowl. But pretend that would never happened. So, bowls have never been existed. Bowls have never existed. Never been, never in, been invented. Before now, we're, soup's been a very messy event. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a very handy snacky treat receptacle. A bowl. So, we're gonna make a, a, a handy snacky treat receptacle okay. that is gonna be all the rage this Christmas. Yeah. So, so you you have a you have um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the B word. You've got um you've got a cardboard sphere. In front of you. Hemisphere. Yeah. And uh, what I would like, so if you get hold of that. Hemisphere. You, you've, Not sphere. <laughs> sphere is all the way around. You've also got um, some tissue paper. I do, yes. So what I would like, choose the choose the, t the colour that speaks to you most. Good. And Orange. Um, wrap your um, cardboard receptacle. Uh-huh. You might not, you probably won't need all of it. Okay. It's, it's quite a big sheet. So I'm wrapping my bowl yeah. in tissue paper. Yeah. And, and then kind of, sort of like if you flip reverse it, like the song. <laughs> um, complete. So that reference to the Blazing Squad, oh, I, I still, I still remember. Um, I've stopped listening to you, what, sorry? <laughs> like, you, know, you know when you go and see your grand and you tune out because she's talking about not. <laughs> So, just kind of secure it with a little bit of sellotape. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to look particularly neat because we're going to. Well, that's it. good because it doesn't. 
Okay. That is going to be the base of of your snacky treat receptacle. Well, yeah. No, don't say that word. Okay, do you want to flip it over? Okay, just pop, pop that to one side for now. Okay. Flip it over, but pop it to one side. Right, okay. Just pop it to one side. Right. So now you've got some coloured card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do with this, Lee? What are we going to Create do? Create a gonna... flat piece of card. What we're going to do is you're going to cut some strips of oh, card. Oh, wow. okay. About two or three centimetres thick. About an inch, then. Yeah. Now, does it need to be in the similar or contrasting colour? No, you can do whatever you want. Go on. I'm going multicoloured. Well, I might have gone a bit bit wide because according to my ex-boyfriend, that was six inches. Always has to bring his personal life onto the show. You always okay. have to bring wrapping a bowl up to make it into a bowl into the show, but you know. How many of these strips do I need? You know, a fair few. A couple of a couple of lengths. A couple of lengths. A couple of piles. Okay. So now you need to take your, your tissue covered receptacle. Well. Okay. Flip it back over. On the rough side. Oh, okay, I like it on the rough side. Yeah. Now, what you're going to do with these with these strips that you've created, uh -huh. right, you're going to sellotape them to the rim hmm? of the um, of the receptacle. Please, you know, please. like if you were making a sunshine. Like this is the sun, and these are the rays. Right. Okay. All the way round. Like I was making a sunshine. Yeah. And you can do them whatever. Whatever um, pattern, colour you want. Right, do they need to have spaces in between? A little, not, not very big. Oh, God, we'll get a bit high pitched there, didn't I? Mm. Yeah, but uh, it's very not to the um, at the same time, which was quite impressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you don't want your snacky treats to fall betwixt the rays. So, kind of touching each other, kind of like, kind of like that. Right, so I'm not touching each other, really. Well, you know, just the tip. Just the touching one. All the way round. This is exciting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, let's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my thing's for... It's all right. I'll, I'll manage. It's okay. I'll find. I'm fine. I'll manage. My um, sellotape receptacle fell to pieces. Dispenser. Dispenser. I mean, if if I mean, I'm, I'm using sellotape for for ease. We should be using glue guns. I, I mean, you can use a glue gun if you should choose. But I I'm, I've still got scars from last time we used a glue gun. But that's because you said don't touch this bit here, and touch the tip of the glue gun. It burned. It's hot glue. So when you said you need to do a piece of card, you actually meant two, didn't you? Say that again? So we said do a sheet of card. I've noticed you've done two. Yeah. I've done lots of different colour colours. So, so you said a piece of card. Oh well I just I just assumed, Mike, that you would take your own initiative. You know what you know what they say about assuming? I don't know, Mike, what do they say? It means to do it. I mean you're an ass out of you and me or something, actually. Yeah. Okay. You ever learned that anagram how to spell assume? It makes an ass out of you and me. Um, no, Mike, because I went to a school in this century. No, you didn't. That's <laughs> a lie. <laughs> this century started in the year 2000 when you were already 47. <laughs> I've nearly finished. Have you? How are you doing? Well, I've had to do more because you said a strip of card and you meant several. Okay. Well, I have, I have managed to assemble mine. Now, surprisingly, I have not tried this out. <laughs> before I brought it to the screen. Um, <laughs> so it's... And, and do you know why that probably is, Lee? Why? Because you've got bowls at home. You're going to take the strips... Yeah. And you're going to kind of get three... Right. Like, the, like together. Okay. And then sellotape. Okay. So that they, they are attached. All right. So, yeah, carry on all the way around. So, you want to do them in threes. Okay, I've just counted up a slight issue, but okay. Why is that, Mike? So, we've got three, 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 one. Okay, you might need to do it. I think you could perhaps make a four. Okay. And the, we are creating the walls 
walls. The, yeah, the walls of the receptacle. How are we doing? Um, I'm having issues with it staying together. Just use a little bit more sellotape. That's what I'm doing, Lee. Now, should you wish to just leave your, um, I'm going to say petals open. Okay. You can do. Or right. you can kind of join join a couple a couple together to kind of make um, like a like a bigger wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, mine are, I've kind of like assembled my walls now. Okay. What I'm going to do is with a bit of tissue paper. Well, you've got some more tissue paper. Uh -huh. But scrunch that tissue paper up. Put that on the inside. Just as like um, as like um, like a blanket. Right now, you see, because I've attached my walls before you told me about the tissue paper, I've got a very tight orifice. You are having to your mic. Yeah. Something. Um. Um. Oh, there we go. I've got it to go wider. Oh, good, 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 good. good. Okay. Just take it in. Take it in. It's okay. I'll go gentle. There we go. Now I have provided. Oh, I've torn you. Sorry. Oh. Let me just pop some. I have provided you with a with a variety of snacky treats. Okay. Um. So, our, mine is created in such a fashion that I don't have to open the packets. I can just <laughs> just rest the packets on top. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've done here, Lee, is we've taken a perfectly serviceable bowl. Mm -hmm. And created a tight orifice I can't get it in. Well, you, you mean you can like just put it on the table, right? Get a packet of crisps. And just balance that puffs. on top. How, how aesthetically pleasing is that? It's like a poof for crisps. Well, what I could be doing, I could I could feed them in individually. You could them. do that. Oh, actually, or here's a revolutionary idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look oh, at that! Oh, that is. But look. again, you know what? Habitat. 50 quid. Yeah. A shop that no longer exists. And there you go. That's, that's you know, that's, a, that's another triumph. <clears throat> so, you know what I'm going to say? You can't get it. I apologise, Mike, for the shit I've just made you go through. No, no. Oh. If you can't get any peen, be a crafty queen. I'm going for a crisp poof. Mm, well, <laughs> it's not the first time I've said that. Yeah, um, tell it's but it's it. revolutionary that. It is. In the shops by Christmas, crisp poofs. Everybody will want one. Saw it here first. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, YouTube and podcast. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Bother with this.